I'm Jude. And it's mommy. And what are we going to make today, Jude? Gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies. And do you have gingerbread men cutter? Yeah. Can you show me? That's your cutter? Yeah, just make Wow. It. And how many sizes do you have? One, two, three. Three. Can you show us? Is this big or small? Small. Small. And how about this one? Big. Big. And this one? Big. Bigger. So, Jude, are you ready to start? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, our recipe today is the first thing that comes to head okay. when you mention open the holidays. It. And it's really healthy. Yeah? Okay. Yes, you can open it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Is it too tight? Okay. So, we need one cup of flour. I have here um, mixed whole wheat flour with all-purpose flour. So, we're going to need one cup and you can use them. You can use half a cup of each. Ooh. Too much. No, it's not too much. Shake, 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 shake. Up. Is that one cup? Yeah. Okay. Let's add it to our big bowl. Um, Oops. What? Okay. You want to close the container? Yeah. Okay. So we will add our dry ingredients at the beginning. Baking powder. Baking powder. When I open. Yeah. We need half a teaspoon. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Shake, shake, shake. It's still full. Yeah. And here, what do we have? We're going to add our spices. We have one eighth teaspoon of cloves, ground cloves, one eighth teaspoon of ginger ground ginger and we have also one eighth teaspoon of salt and one eighth teaspoon of allspice you can smell it is it carefully okay let's add them uh -huh. yeah let's add the spices over the flour and then we will add also half a teaspoon of cinnamon We can. Oh. We need a half teaspoon. That's too much. Is it enough? Too much. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. You can mix them carefully. Yeah. Carefully. So doing this recipe together is really fun. It's going to take some time, although the recipe itself doesn't take so much time, but it's from uh, preparing the dough and then preparing and cutting the cookies and uh -huh. then bake them and after that decorating them. So they will really enjoy it. And if you want, you can prepare the dough ahead of time and put it in the fridge. You can prepare it one day before. Uh -huh. You can prepare it one day before and before using it, take it uh, one hour until it's like room temperature before using it. Okay, we're okay. good. Let's add our other ingredients. Okay. okay. We're going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. So that's our sweetness factor. We don't have any sugar in this recipe. One. One. I. Two. And we will add molasses. molasses. Mm -hmm. Also two tablespoons. One. One. Okay. And two. Let's put some more. Three. 
That's two. Now we'll come. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Are you drawing lines? I see you. You drawing lines? Okay. And what do we have here? We have butter. Okay. You want to try it? Sure, you can try it. Okay, go ahead. What do you think? You like molasses? Okay, we have here softened yeah. quarter cup of butter. Let's oh, yeah. add the butter. It's yummy. It's yummy. Mmm. Let's cut them and put them here. Too much. No, it's not. We want them all. It's not too much. Uh, if you want your recipe to be dairy free, you can use instead of butter, uh, virgin uh, melted coconut oil. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. We need also to add two tablespoons of milk. If you're making this dough dairy free, you can use non dairy milk. We need two tablespoons of milk. Of milk. That's a one. And that's how oh. much? Two. That's it. Do you want to use your hands? Yeah. Okay. Did you wash them before? Yeah. Yeah? We yeah. went and we washed our hands before we start. True? Okay. Now make up? Now yeah. mix. You can use your hands to mix the dough. Is it sticky now? That's okay. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Squeezing? Yeah. Okay, let's get the flour from this side. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. More, more. See? Oh. See? So after mix mixing this and having a dough, you can put it in the fridge for 10 minutes before proceeding. Uh, this way it's not going to be sticky when you are rolling it. Uh, and if your kids were not patient to wait for the 10 minutes, you still can uh, uh, roll it and work with it right away. So our dough is ready. You want to show them our dough? Yeah. Okay, so we will wrap it in a plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we will clean up and come back. Here is our dough. Yeah, we dough. will flatten it like it did. Roll it into a thin layer. You just okay, yeah. Forward, backwards. Wow! <laughs> You're so professional. I'm impressed. If the dough was sticking, you can put another parchment paper on top and roll it or plastic wrap too. So we have one at the bottom and you can put one on top. That's it. That's it. Okay, so meanwhile, you can preheat your oven on 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now we're going to make gingerbread man. Okay, now this is the cutting side. We're going to cut. Oh. Pull it up. Okay. Oh. Do more. No, do more. Okay. Yeah. Let's use all the space. So this should make almost 12 to 18 gingerbread men, depending on the cutter size. Mine, even this is the smallest, but it's still really kind of big. 
if you have we'll take our gingerbread men and put them on a lined baking sheet and bake them for eight to nine minutes uh, they burn easily so be careful uh, and uh, all the excess dough we will roll it again and then knead it and make more men but a little more often. So we are going to put our gingerbread men in the oven for eight to nine minutes. Uh -oh. So here we are. We have some baked gingerbread cookies. Did we decorate them? Yeah? yeah. We have a big one. You want to show them the big one? More. See? And now Jude is going to have fun decorating some plain gingerbread cookies. So we will not decorate them all because uh, we like to eat them as is. Eat it? Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can eat it. Uh-oh. What did you eat? His, which body part did you eat? His? Face. Face, all of it. His head? You ate his head? Is it yummy? What did you eat now? Hands. His hands. Okay, I'm going to tell you what do I have here. I don't have a frosting, uh, icing frosting that you buy from the stores. Uh, and to make it more healthier, so I'm going to be using uh, cheese, uh, cream cheese frosting. So what I have here is um, a half a cup of cream cheese softened and then I add it to them uh, one to two teaspoons of uh, honey uh, and you blend them properly you can use the mixer and mix them and it, they can either pipe them or they can spread them with a spreading knife on the cookie and then use some sprinkles to sprinkle on top you can use some raisins some shaved nuts and also you can add coloring to the cream cheese and then you will be you you will not be just having white color so i am going to mix to show you what color do you want jude what um, color do you think we need to make um red see red red okay Add a couple spoons, a yeah. couple drops. Yeah. Enough. More. So we have here red cream cheese icing. Yeah. Do you want to pipe them on this? Gingerbread man? Okay. Oh. You want to decorate this gingerbread man? What do you want to put for it? Wow. I'm just following his lead. That's too much. Uh oh. It's fine. You want some you want to put some sprinkles on top? Yeah. Right. See, so your kids can be creative, they can do whatever they want to do. You did not tell me. Did you like the gingerbread man? Was it yummy? Mmm. And let's let's spread some icing on this one. Having fun? Yeah. Throw for it some ice. Let's do the mouth first. Oh, that's a big mouth. You want to show them what did you do? I'm going to show you what the Jude made. Thank you for today. Goodbye.